Have you ever done a boundary and frustratingly the person doesn't respect it, right? Chooses not to cooperate, doesn't change their behavior. Or maybe you want to put in a boundary, but you're afraid that um, they aren't going to change their behavior. Or maybe the people around you are trying to get you to relax your boundary. Tell you you're crazy. You're being mean. Let's dive into this today because boundaries are complicated and, and they don't always go so smoothly. I'm Stacy Rockline and it's my mission to eradicate loneliness and boundaries actually protect us from feeling alone. So first of all, first of all, people are different. Okay, humans are different. My boundaries are going to look different from someone else's boundaries. So what we're doing in our, with boundaries is we're creating a circle of safety. Okay, we're inside this circle of safety. We want all of our loved ones in there with us. And on the outside of that circle are all of the behaviors we will not allow. Okay, things that are, are not going to work out in our relationships. My circle of safety isn't going to be the same as someone else's. So example, I have um, someone in my life currently who's being really verbally abusive. For me, this is a no boundary. This is a, I do not engage if this is how I'm treated. That behavior has to stay outside. For other people in my life, that they don't need to have that in place. They have more allowance for that kind of stuff. They can stay in that. And now some people have looser boundaries than you. Some people don't have boundaries. So some people just don't even have a circle. And so they allow all kinds of inappropriate behaviors and they have coping mechanisms where they um, shut down or they will placate the person. Um, so we're just all different. The first important thing is to just recognize our circles of safety are going to be different and there's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly okay. A lot of times in a relationship, so in a relationship with each other, when two people have boundaries and one people's one people one person's circle is smaller for allowable behaviors, that's where you're going to have conflict. You're going to have conflict in that in that space between where somebody's ends and the other person's hasn't ended yet. If that makes sense, if you think about it like concentric circles, one. And then the other one's bigger. So your conflict's going to happen in that little space in between those. So just recognize that it's okay. That's okay. Next thing is you have to understand for boundaries, boundaries are not about the other person changing their behavior. Boundaries are about an action you're going to take to respect your circle of safety. So the, someone else can keep doing a bad behavior. That person in my life can keep doing the verbal abuse. It, it's not my business whether they decide to stop doing that or not. All I control is my actions. And my actions are that I'm not going to engage with that. I keep, for me, that circle of safety, I feel very unsafe, emotionally unsafe if somebody is you know, saying nasty things to me. That's why I have a boundary for it. Someone else can be more comfortable. All I need to know is where my boundary is and what action I'm going to take is, and that's to not engage. So that's for me. But the last thing I want to talk about is this, this difficult part where say you have a boundary, okay? And it's coming up in relation to this person. But around you are all of these other people who have different circles of safety or maybe no boundaries at all. And they say to you, oh, you're, they're just struggling. Try to be understanding, you know, let it go. It's mean to have a boundary like that. It's that's about them and their circle of safety and what makes them feel safe. It's not about you. And I think this is one of the hardest thing about boundaries is to hold the line on your circle of safety, on your boundaries and on the actions you're going to take when you have all of these people in your ear 
trying to get you to train to their circle of safety. They're trying to get you to modify yours. Now, you might try that. You might be like, oh, okay, fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. But you will feel that when you step outside your circle of safety, you will feel how unsafe you feel. And I don't know about you, but I know for me, if I don't feel safe, I can't create intimacy. I can't have real authentic conversations with someone else because I've got to put up a guard to protect myself against them. So you have to recognize it's okay to have different, different boundaries. Know yours, know yours. Hold the line on your own action, what you're going to do. And when people get in your ear and try to tell you that you should relax your boundary and you know you're doing the right thing for yourself, remind yourself of that. Because you're a compassionate person and you care about yourself and you care about your relationships by doing boundaries in the first place. And if you struggle with boundaries and you want some more help, I do have the boundary blueprint. You can click the link and grab that free PDF. And I wish you close, intimate, authentic, wonderful relationships inside your circle of safety.